Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. I hope you're having a really, really nice um, Thursday, right? How are you? How's everybody doing? One second. Uh, can Hello, Miss. Good evening. There we go. Hello. Can you hear me, guys? Me logran escuchar? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right. So thanks, everybody, for joining. Um, ¿Cómo va su jueves? Guys, ¿sintieron el temblor? ¿No lo sintieron? ¿Salieron corriendo? Will you calm down? Tell me, how was it? Guys, eh, sintieron el temblor allá por Santa Ana, Tiquisaya. Por know? acá, sí, mis. Ahí estuvo. Estaba fuerte, mis. Um, fue leve, súper leve. De hecho, yo no lo había sentido en lo que mi mamá me dijo. Wow. Ok, ok. Bueno, lo importante es que no, no lo sintió y mejor, right? So sí, bien. mejor. Ok, ok. What about the rest, guys? ¿Dónde lo sintieron? So, where was it? In El Paraíso? No, teacher. So, Norbert? No, no sentimos el temblor. ¿No lo sintió? Sí lo sintió. No, no. No lo no. no sintieron, pero, pero sí sabían que tembló. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm asking you because to be honest, yo no lo sentí hasta que alguien me dijo está temblando, you know. And, uh, y tengo agua a la par, pero, I mean, yo no sentí nada. So, I didn't get like anything. All right. So, that was like totally crazy. Well, guys, espero que no se hayan asustado. Hopefully, in your, in your areas, si tembló, pues que haya sido bastante leve también. Demás un segundo con la cámara que... Yo siempre parezco como si soy fantasma. <laughs> I look like a ghost most of the times. All right. So, um, thanks a lot, everybody. Gracias por unirse a la sesión del día de ahora. Thank you so much for joining for our eh, unidad número tres, que es la que damos inicio today. Um, nos faltan dos semanas. We are just two weeks away from finishing the module. Increíblemente el tiempo está corriendo, pero súper rápido, right? But I'm very excited um, to see you guys here, motivados con toda la vibra, y que podamos, ok, y que podamos practicar, right? Tanto como sea posible. Gracias, Sonia, acabo de leer su mensaje. Thank you so much. No worries. No worries, miss. All right. So, eh, para poder iniciar, solamente ayúdenme, porfa, con... Su camarita, to see you, to hear your confirmation, para confirmar que su voz, solo voy a pasar asistencia and, uh, y luego ya podemos practicar tranquilamente. Let me see. I like your car, Norbert. <laughs> so that's a cool car. Uh, guys, remember que si le pueden poner un fondo a su, a su foto. I mean, if you feel like, pueden modificarle, incluso en el teléfono se puede modificar. Pueden poner, I don't know, flowers, a landscape. Ya vamos quizás a hacer una prueba de eso para que alguien tenga, you know, algo bonito de, de fondo, algo que los motive también, you know. Like your favorite place, etc. Onions. Mm -hmm. Onions. No, cráneos, cráneos. Ah, ok. Well, siempre que no sea una mala palabra o algo de fondo. <laughs> I think it's fine. Uh -huh. El problema es que no hay personas que si ponen o escogen como cosas raras también, right? <laughs> como frases raras. Uh -huh. Or, yeah, so that, that is the thing. So siempre que no sea algo inadecuado, then you're good. All right. Eh, Anita, ¿me regala confirmación, por favor? Present teacher. Gracias. No salió corriendo, Miss. No se sintió por allá. El eh, temblor. Nada. Qué nada. genial. Ya, yeah, tampoco here. Ok. Brian. 
<laughs> el Brian Marinillo. Te lo voy a escribir. Uh, Danis. Present. Thank you. Dolores. Saraí. Dolores. Todavía no. Eh, Eduardo. Creo que vi por ahí a Eduardo. Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Hello, ¿qué tal, Miss? ¿Cómo está? Everything good? Yes. Fine. Okay, okay, nice. Jackie, Miss Delgadillo, hello. Hello, teacher. Nice to listen to you, Miss. Gracias por unirse. Espero que esté súper bien. Miss, tenemos pendiente por ahí, tareita, I guess. <laughs> ok, <laughs> cuando tenga tiempo, Miss. Um, okay. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Ignacio. Hi, Ignacio. Norbert. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Alex. Hi, Alex. Present, present teacher. Thank you so much. Marvin. Okay. Eh, Jackie. I mean, eh, Clay. No sé por qué las confundo, girls. I am present, Miss. I mean, I confused your names, pero son bien diferentes. <laughs> For some <Yes>. reason, <laughs> la relación, no, I think. Um, I find you like very, very uh, similar. I don't know why. Uh, Moses, hi, Moses. Hello, teacher. Hello, happy to see you there. How are you? Got Pedrina. Hello, Pedrina. Hello, thank you so much. Uh, René. Teacher, present, present. Gracias, René. Thank you so much. Ricardo. Brenda, teacher, present. Hola, Brenda. Thank you. Gracias, Miss, por acompañarnos. Thank you so much. Happy to see you. Eduardo, me falta. Eduardo, ya lo vi por acá. Hola, Eduardo. Good evening. Eh, Richard, Richard. Creo que por ahí está. See you there. Me regala confirmación, please. Whenever present, you can. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. I got Sonia, Carlos, vi por ahí a Carlos también. Sí. Sí, sí, lo escucho. Thank you. Gracias, Miss. Claudia. ¿Tiene problemas con el audio, Richard? Sorry, no lo logré escuchar esa parte. No, no, no. Oh, ok. Okay. No, I mean, si tiene dificultades or anything, let me know. Okay, thank you. Uh, Claudia, no sé si ya está por acá. No. And Karina. Hola, Miss. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Todo bien? Everything good? Yes. A little bit yeah. tighter. Uh, yeah, así le escucho en la voz. Pero ya se le va a quitar, hopefully. Ya casi también vamos a terminar solo dos horas, Miss. Aguánteme dos horas. <laughs> And then we will be fine. Oh, okay. Ya se va a ir a descansar. Uh, so, I'm missing Jocelyn. I don't know. Nope, Jocelyn's not here yet. And I'm missing, let me see. Garanita, I'm missing Brian. And I'm missing Sarai. Okay. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot, everybody. Gracias por unirse. We are going to get started with unit number three. La unidad. Uh, yes, Ignacio. Hello. Gracias por la Gracias. confirmación. Thank you for your confirmation. Great. So let me just explain a little bit about unit number three. La unidad número tres se enfoca mucho en procesos. It focuses on process. Eh, relacionados con recursos humanos. So, vamos a hablar un poquito en this unit sobre algunas cosas que recursos humanos hacen. All right. Vamos a revisar el tema de simple present, simple past, eh, como, como un repaso así ligero para que ustedes estén ready. El día de ahora vamos a trabajar con job advertisement. Vamos a hacer un comercial. <laughs> We are going to make like a nut today. 
pero don't worry, no va a ser un ad de voy a vender chocolates o anything, va a ser como un ad donde ustedes están buscando eh, y quieren reclutar personas para su empleo, for one specific job. So we are going to create something like that. To get started, para que podamos iniciar, eh, I have, eh, well, antes que, que nada, tenemos el día de ahora, eh, es one on one con Norbert. So Norbert me regala un par de minutitos por al final. Si se le dificulta eh, con el tiempo, me avise con, con anticipación para cambiarla y con alguien más, right? Okay. So, mm -hmm. to get it started today, guys, I have this question for you. What is your ideal day? ¿Alguna vez lo han pensado? Have you ever thought about your ideal day? What is a day that you say, oh, qué bonito, I love this day, that was beautiful, that was great. So, what is an, your ideal day? To be at home and to sleep, watch Netflix series, to eat a lot, or to go out, or any specific thing. What is your ideal day? Uh, for me, um, the day is Saturday. Oh, why Saturdays? Why do you like Saturdays? Uh, I am... ¿Cómo se dice descansar? I rest. I rest. Okay. Uh, in, my in, my in my house or in my home. Uh -huh. uh, play weeks in my children. Okay. Um, uh, only teacher. Oh, okay, okay. So your yes. favorite day is Saturday, you said, because you can rest a little. Yes, Ignacio? My my ideal day is Friday. Why Friday? Because mm -hmm. it's the last day in our company we, we work in this Saturday and, and Sunday, uh, we are free. So you have the weekend off? Yeah. Wow, that's so nice. Okay, but it's very interesting because you have weekend off, but you don't say Saturday or Sunday, but you say Friday. <laughs> Okay, so interesting. So you like Fridays. Okay. Uh, what about the rest of you guys? So what's your ideal day? I mean, not necessarily the day of the semana, right? Sino como que actividades. What activities do you like as well? I believe Teacher. Ignacio in your case because you rest. Yes, Alex? Teacher, my, my family is from to Wasapa City. Uh -huh. uh, 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 I like to sleep in the country, the WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, wake up and I have typical breakfast. The yeah. sound of uh, the river, the birds, the cows. The roost is, is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. No. I, like, I like to sleep I, uh, in the home, the camp. Nice. I mean, the countryside is so beautiful. I like it so much. Uh, sorry, I, I, I want a question. Yes. Sorry, was the river Guasapa uh, have water this moment? Oh, yes, yes, it's clean, it's clean. Oh, it's clean. good. So there is some water. It's not dry yet. Okay, guys, do, the, do you know the meaning of rooster? Do you know what a rooster is? Rooster. Rooster. The, the, the gallo, gallo. See what? Yes. Yes, exactly. So imagine 4 a.m., 5 a.m., your day off with the sound of the rooster. <laughs> like, what do you do? Okay. Sing, sing, sing. Or for hour, the rooster. Uh -huh. the sing. Hour and hour. This is yeah. the only thing. <laughs> es lo único que no me gusta el countryside. <laughs> this is the only thing I don't like. But then I love it. Uh -huh. Yes? Sorry about so that. Teacher, sorry, but in Soyapango, the, the rotter continues sound. Gooms. Sound. Guns. Sing, 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 okay. The roosters don't. The rooster, oh. the rooster, the rooster gums. 
God. <laughs> no. They, they don't sing anymore. Oh, really, Ignacio? Ya no cantan? Continue. Yeah, yeah the, the roster continues to uh, sing. Oh, they continue. Okay, they continue singing. All right. I mean, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. okay. But no bullets. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Okay, what about the rest of you guys? I want to listen to your ideal day. So what's yeah, your ideal example, day like? Yes, yes. In my, in my yeah. case, I my favorite day is Sunday because it's, I can go go out and <laughs> I I don't find, find a traffic. Yes, traffic. okay. It's very, it's very solo. Oh, only. A streets are empty. A a street, is empty. The streets it's... are empty. Están vacías, están solas. Oh, I'm yes. going to write it here. Empty, de vacío. Mm -hmm. So the street I, I, is empty. Empty. I like, uh -huh. the, I like this day because it's a, I, I can visit a different place in the same day. For in example, fast. I can go to the planet. Planet the, the renderos uh -huh. and I can go to the beach. Yes. Is 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 my favorite day because it's the is is empathy day. I yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a nice no, I mean that's a beautiful when you wake up late, especially and there is no traffic. I mean that's an ideal uh, day for everybody, I guess. So that's beautiful. All right. Anybody else? So what is your uh, ideal day? Let me share with, with you. Probably my ideal day is to wake up not so early uh, because I wake up early every day. So I maybe to wake up a little bit late, like around eight or nine, probably to go and walk somewhere, you know, or to go swimming um yeah and what else <laughs> yeah i just yeah i couldn't i could i i definitely agree with uh with renee so not to find traffic so maybe sundays are good for yes. that um i'm not too much into shopping so nothing that involves uh, shopping malls so i don't really like them no. and uh, no not really and probably to to eat out or to play with my niece and my nephew so oh. that would be like super cool uh-huh so my ideal day is like very simple what about the rest of you guys what Ooh. makes you feel like good you said yes Barnet, uh, uh, i am from family in Bosapa. oh do you have family in Bosapa? Yes, yes or are you family uh, with alex uh with Alex. Are you family? Are you related? No, 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 um, yeah, I escuchado uh, eso. I have it, heard about yes, it. Yes, I like history. Um, that is Zapata. dangerous. Yes, yes. No, yes, but some beautiful. areas. Uh -huh. Beautiful, beautiful places. A beautiful but dangerous, I think, too, yes, because they are heels. Oh, yes, yo pensé, yo me adelanté entonces. Yo pensé que me iba a decir que era como family o que se iba a quedar... En la, con la misma familia de, de Alex. <laughs> so yo oh. me adelanté a usted. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, but have you been to WhatsApp, Ricardo? Have you been is, to the, to the is hills? It, is it, you have visited. Is it, okay. uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, <laughs> the river? The river, yes. Uh -huh. Easy también, also. Okay. No, oh, amazing, amazing. That's yes. great. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, the, cool. And the park, um, Aguilares, visit uh, also. Mm -hmm. What's up, Aguilares? I think that they yes. are next to each yes. other. Chalatenango. Okay. Yes. 
Sí. Ah, but Chalatenango is farther away. All right. Yes. All right, cool. What about the rest of you guys? Anybody else who wants to tell us about his or her favorite or ideal day? Creo que escuché la voz de una chica también por ahí, but I couldn't sí. identify Carina. the voice. Carina. Oh, Karina, tell us about your day. Ideal day. Okay. Uh, my case, I like the Saturdays because at the morning I eat my breakfast with my brothers and my parents. And also at night, I watch movies with my little brothers every Saturday. <laughs> and I oh, like nice. it. It's, okay. the, it's a good time with, with them. But that is nice. All right. So yeah, it's like very relaxing, right? So you yeah. like relaxing activities, okay? Girls, what about the rest of you? What is an ideal day for you? I mean, I'm not too much into going shopping, for example. I know some girls really like it. Or going to the movie theater. I'm not into that. But if you like it, that's amazing. Clary, what is your ideal day? Or no. Jackie, what's your ideal day like? Oh, me, oh, oh yes. no. Jackie, wait a minute. Primero Jackie, luego yo, Miss. Oh. Uh, let's get it started with you. I think, uh, yeah, I couldn't see Jackie's phone on. Yeah, so Clary, tell us about yours. Um, my ideal day is on a weekend, uh -huh. on Saturday, on Sunday. Okay, what activities do you do? Why are they your... Normally, I usually is... Uh, how do you say compartir con la familia? Share. Oh, sh share my my mom, my dad, my nephew. Is um, is uh, we we have a uh, dinner uh, together. Okay. So it's just like a family uh, meeting, like a family uh, get together, right? Yes. Okay. Do you do it every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday? Uh, Clary, does it happen every weekend? Lo hacen todos los fines de semana? Do you do it every Saturday and Sunday? Creo que eso me fue claro. Lo siento, lo siento que no podía hablar. Sí, sí. Um, I want to participate. Only, only. Yes, yes, give me a second. Uh -huh. Only. Um, oh, no sé cómo decir cada 15 días. Oh, only every. In, every two weeks, you can say. Oh, okay. Cada dos semanas. Every two weeks. Every two weeks, yes. every 15 days. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. No, but that's nice. Or every other week. Okay. No, but that is amazing if you can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, because, for example, normally I, I will, I live with my sister, but I don't talk to her because I'm in classes. So, cuando ella se va, I am Ooh. sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> when she comes, I'm working. <laughs> so right now she's doing something and I'm working. <laughs> so we talk on, on Saturday and Sunday too. So that's why I was asking you. Uh, I think Ignacio wanted to share something. Go ahead, Ignacio. Uh, yeah, I want uh, to participate the second time because... <laughs> no problem, <laughs> tell us. Yeah, sorry, but uh, WhatsApp, has, WhatsApp has, it's a famous place because the my my wife is born mm -hmm. here oh okay so and you're familiar in in in, in the in, in him have a blood in whatsapp she had some family members still yeah. there oh okay got it yes um i think that what well i have passed by whatsapp and 
I have been there only one time, I think. All right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thanks for, example, for sharing that. Yes. For example, I, I, I remember uh, the maybe seven years ago, mm -hmm. I, I, I visited Guasapa every Sunday with my grandparents because, because my grandparent has a, a house in Guasapa. In, 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 I, 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 comp, I, 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 went with him. Uh -huh. I went with him uh, and I work in, in his, in his place. And I like, because it's, I share my time with my grand, with my grandfather and, and my grandfather learns something new every Sunday. And I like, because it's, I, I, I yes, think it's very, very, it's very different to live in, well, in the country. Uh, it's, it's different. Uh, it's, it's, I remember I went, I, I, remember. I went to the WhatsApp maybe <laughs> eight, <laughs> seven, no, seven Yo, in, 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 in return on my house at uh, 6 p.m. Oh, so the whole day, all right. You all spend day. there the whole time. But that, that's nice. And those are really good <laughs> memories that we treasure, so, right? Uh -huh. So that, that's really important. Okay. Yes. Guys, yes. solo um, before. The plan is la escarnada. What? <laughs> what? Wait, creo que se le quedó el, el audio por error. Okay, so just a little something here. Um, let me share this expression with you. Uh, we have, I am familiar with. So I'm familiar with, no necesariamente significa que yo tengo familia. Okay, no. I'm familiar with means que yo sé de un lugar, que yo conozco un lugar, que estoy familiarizado con algo, oh, right? Okay. Yes, so that's super useful. Um, whenever you want to say like, oh, oh, yo conozco, por ejemplo, WhatsApp a mucho. Yo he ido, yo he visitado, yo he vivido. Entonces puedo utilizar la expresión I'm familiar. Oh, I'm familiar with WhatsApp because I know the place. I have been there a couple of times. Okay. So familiar with means estoy familiarizado con este tema, right? Um, for example, digamos que usted sepa mucho de animales. So I'm familiar with uh, animals and insects. No está, no está diciendo que es familiar de ellos, right? <laughs> Sino que conoce de ellos. Sure, um, yeah. Well, sí, de los chimpancí, <laughs> pero no. <laughs> okay, now, ¿cómo digo tengo familia? How can I say estoy por blood relacionada con ellos? Cambia un poquito la idea. So, um, para decir tengo familia, yo digo I am related or we are related, that means tenemos una relación familiar, tenemos algún grado de consanguinidad. So, bien diferente, mm. right? Very different. So, yes. be careful with these expressions. I'm familiar with, estoy relacionada con este tema. I'm related, como por ejemplo, uh, René and Alex, they are related. Ellos están, ellos sí tienen un lazo sanguíneo, so they are related. Son familia, right? So, esa es la diferencia. They are related, so familia. I am familiar with, estoy familiarizada con este tema. Yes? Guys, ¿estamos bien? Questions? Yes. 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 Perfect. Yes. We are going to use it today. All right. So, to talk about some things here. All right. Um, so, vamos a ver un poquito de vocabulary. Vamos ahora a hacer un ad. Vamos a hacer un anuncio publicitario. But before doing that, let's get familiar with some vocabulary here. For example, we have degree. Vamos a repetir los primeros. Please repeat with me. Degree. 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 Next, degree. Next one. BA. 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 Next one. Wanter. Wanter. Hagámoslo más corto. One Wanted. 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 Next Wanted. one. Add. As. Add. Next. Environment. 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 Next one. Pressure. 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 
Pressure. Pressure. Work under pressure. Pressure. Como pressure. Next one. Full time. Full time. Full time. Full time. Part time. Part time. Position. Position. Promotion. Promotion. Paid vacation. Paid vacation. Okay. Bay. 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 Sean. Sean. Bay. 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 Sean. Bay. 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 Sean. Vacation. 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 Exactly. Pay vacation. Pay vacation. 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 Okay. One more time. Position. Position. Promotion. Promotion. Vacation. Vacation. Se lo, bájenmele un poquito eh, la fuerza en Sean. Vacation. Vacation. Ok. Position, promotion, vacation. Position, position, promotion, vacation. Vacation, guys. Vacation. Ok, perfect, perfect. We got it. Ok. And the last one, compens compensation. 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 Sean, Sean, como bien suave, Sean, compensation. Mm -hmm. okay. Very nice. So let's take a look at this. ¿Cuándo las vamos a utilizar? When do we use these expressions? Imagine that we are talking about, um, okay, vemos un anuncio, we see an advertisement on the newspaper, o lo escuchamos, y ellos dicen los requisitos. They talk about the requirements, que buscan, que ofrecen, right? Uh, what are the conditions of the job? So let's take a look at this one. For example, degree. What is a degree, guys? Degree tiene muchos significados, but tell me what do you understand by degree? ¿Qué entienden por degree? Desacuerdo. Is when do you study something? Exactly. And yes, a diploma. Uh -huh, nice. A degree is the diploma, exactly. So a uh, university degree, a uh, high school degree, a mm. kindergarten, well, it's not a degree, <laughs> but a high school that applies for a degree or the uh, university, right? Master's degree. Okay, so degree is from the document. All right. English corporate degree. In, this is a diploma. <laughs> yes. This is a diploma. Uh -huh. Pero si se parece. So, degree can be a diploma, pero un diploma no es degree. <laughs> degree ah, es okay. el grado académico. <laughs> yeah, yeah, degree es un grado académico. Okay. Tipo, tipo But, el chavo. Tipo el chavo. <laughs> tipo cantinflas. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next one we have is BA. Lo vimos anteriormente. What do you remember? Que era un BA. Business administration. Exactly. A BA es sure. lo que le llamamos uh, licenciatura, right? Debería de haber un puntito acá, se me fue, but it's a BA. So BA is licenciatura. Um, if I want to say, soy licenciado, sí, pero ese no es un título. Eso es el nombre de su carrera, right? Mm -hmm. eh, so, si hablamos de empleos, that wouldn't apply, no aplica para decir el empleo, aplica para su grado académico. But, yes. Usted sí puede decir, yo tengo un BA. I have a BA. Now, the question is, para quienes ya tienen un degree, ya quienes ya lo completaron, ¿en qué es su degree? I have a BA. BA es licenciatura, pero ¿en qué? Right? So, ¿en qué tienen BA, guys? ¿Quienes tienen un degree? ¿O quienes tienen un BA? Industrial Engineer. Mm, ok, pero en su caso, si no, no me equivoco, right. es engineering. Yes. Uh, in your case, that is engineering. MBA yes. solo aplica para las licenciaturas. Uh -huh. Es el uh. Bachelor in Arts. Uh -huh. uh, oh. uh -huh. So, VA is Bachelor in Arts. Let me modify this. Para que ustedes lo puedan ver. Give me one second. Okay, so BA, that stands for Bachelor 
Bachelor in Arts. So, pretty much es una licenciatura. This is a, a licenciatura. For example, my BA is, mi licenciatura es en enseñanza. So, my BA is in English teaching. Pero así se llama BA, BA in English teaching. Si es administración de empresa, right? So, that would be like BA in business administration. So, mm. BAB, I have a BA in business administration. Um, so, si es en contaduría y es una licenciatura, so I have a BA in accounting, accounting. right? Eh, Anita, por ejemplo, creo que es una licenciatura en informática, right, Anita? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. So, that would be like, I have a BA in, eh, that is called... IT. Depende el nombre, puede ser computer science, como ciencias de la computación. I have a BA in computer science. Or I have a BA, a BA in technology. So, I como en IT. Uh -huh. IT so, yeah. depende el nombre que, que la universidad le dé también, mm -hmm. right? Algunas veces le cambia. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that is the one. Then we have one, right? Como cuando vemos la película One, de Se Busca. <laughs> okay, so that is one, the wanted. Como yeah. las películas viejitas, right? De vaqueros que buscaban a alguien. So, that's, this is wanted, que se busca, que se requiere. Uh -huh. eh, environment, guy, oh, ad. No, ad. ¿Alguien me ayuda con ad? Can you help me with that word? Ad es la palabra corta. Ad means ad idea? No, miss. No, okay. Um, oh, anuncio, exactly. Ad es la palabra cortita oh, and okay. that stands for advertisement. Advertisement. So, advertisement es la palabra larga, la palabra corta es ad, right? Uh, for example, you have Coca-Cola ads, uh, Pepsi ads. What else? Well, all the companies, they have ads. ¿Tienen yes, algún ad? Uh, Do you have any specific or any favorite ad? ¿Tienen algún anuncio, like radio ad or TV ad that you like? Mm. ¿Alguna vez les ha gustado un, un anuncio? Have you ever liked like a, a TV ad for any product. Tomo con responsabilidad. Tomo con responsabilidad. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what was the company? ILC. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what about the rest? What's your favorite ad? Hello. Hello. Hi, Carlos. Uh, uh, a lot of time ago, mm -hmm. Pepsi... Uh, show a uh, ad with the player of soccer mm, and, with Messi. <laughs> and Britney Spears oh. and Enrique Iglesias in the medieval uh, uh, show that's good uh, ad we yeah. think in the Johnson sink yes we are Ronaldinho, <laughs> Beckham etc <laughs> But okay. that, uh, that ad is not to, to, la, to Latin American. Oh, only for US. Yes, but in Europe, I, I, I will look for the ad. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Wow, but it was very old, right? Because Enrique Iglesias, you said? When Enrique was young. I mean, yeah, because now he's like 50 years old or 60, I don't know. He's very old and not that handsome. <laughs> okay. Oh, interesting. I, I have never seen it. I will look for it. Guys, what about the rest of you? You know? Let me tell you. Let me tell you about my favorite ad. ¿Alguna vez han visto los de Levi's? Have you ever seen Levi's eh, ads? Yes. 
So, um, I saw it in YouTube <laughs> because sí. now ven a, vemos ads en cualquier lugar, right? Especially in the internet. Yeah. So, I liked it because one man was buying a jacket and they had these little um, ornamental pieces and uh, they put it like on the on the sl on the sleeve of the jacket um, and i don't know if you're familiar with this way when you are um um i forgot in the word hold on mute no mute blind. okay when you're blind when you have problems with your eyes and you're blind you cannot read but you learn this uh, technique right to touch with your hands So in the sleeve of the jacket, they um, wrote something like, como en braille, right? And it said like, I love you, I will be there, something like that. That was so beautiful. That was the mm -hmm. most beautiful ad I have ever seen, you know, super, super cool. So mm -hmm. what about you guys? What was your favorite ad? The same. Did you see that one? The, the save total oh save that. totals okay yeah. nice yes. so saving totals no plastic and the okay well yeah so saving totals plastic recycling what company yes. was that National Geographic. Or... Oh, wow. But not Geo is a different but story. Geo, yes. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah, Geo, I mean, Geo, Geo. Uh -huh. National yeah. Geographic, yes. So yes. not Geo. Uh -huh. Geo. Wow, cool. What about the rest, guys? What about the rest of you? For example, in my case, I remember the ad, uh, the Coca Cola. Coca Cola, how good. I remember Coca Cola. Uh, Have a, a ad de, de, de panda beers. No, no eran panda, eran. Oh, polar, polar, a polar, a polar, a white polar bear. Yes. <laughs> okay. Christmas. Christmas, yes. Yes. So remember, recently or a long time ago? Long time, long time ago. Oh. I, 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 maybe I. 20 I, years ago? Oh, like so like 20 20 years ago yes you were 10 years old okay i remember the coca-cola sure. talking about that yes um pixie blue uh, uh Merry christmas what happened with pepsi blue pepsi blue uh Merry please uh, Merry christmas it's christmas uh-huh what happened tell us tell us Cuéntenos, telas. O sea que, o sea que el, 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 en Navidad siempre cambiaba. En inglés. Ok, sir, so, the, the Pepsi presentation. Yes, Pepsi uh, presentation blue. Was blue. What do you mean? The color of the soda was blue or the can, the color of the can was blue. Color blue. The soda. The soda. The soda color blue. Yeah. What? Pepsi? What? Yes. Wait, what? Yes. Pepsi Cola. was Pepsi. blue. When? Yes. How? I don't remember that part. Yes. Hace cuánto, uh, guys? Ignacio When? Ignacio tal vez se recuerda. Ignacio yes. tal vez se recuerda. Have, have you Ignacio. ever drunk a, a blue Pepsi? Well, the liquid, yes. uh, a blue yes, liquid, yes. The liquid yes. Pepsi. Yes, Dan is, Dan is the best thank you. Uh, oh. What? <laughs> so you have like a different color um, in your tongue. Uh, yes, yes. yes. Uh, um, I, uh, fue para el, uh, old time, old times, uh, Yelocos. De oh. Sola. Yeah. But if we're Yelocos. talking about yes. Yelocos, oh my God, we're talking about two or three de decades ago. <laughs> so we're talking about the 25 years ago. Guys, do you remember yes. the Yelocos? Did you collect them? Yeah. I collected yes. them. Yes. 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 Do you still have yes. them? Alguien tiene Yelocos? 
Ah, yo, yes. bueno, yo tenía, tenía varios. Lo English, Richard, que, I have. Mis, 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 mis hijos los, los perdieron. English, English, Richard. English, Richard. Yes. I have. <laughs> I have. I have. Yo tuve. I have. I have. How many? How many, how Richard? Many? How many? How many? No, how many? ¿Cuántos? How many? Ah. Uh, Five, ten, twenty, how many? One. One. A lot. Solo uno, Richard. Eleven, eleven, creo yo. Eleven. No, that was a lot. Okay. That was a lot. No, remember. Okay, no, it's okay. That's totally fine. Yeah, so that was, a, okay. So that is advertisement and the power of advertisement, right? So you see something and you're like, I want to buy it. I want to get it. <laughs> okay, Yelocos was crazy. Also with Coca-Cola, tenían como unos ositos. They had like some uh, birds, right? That you could collect. So you could start collecting them. That was really cool. What about the rest of you guys? Any uh, any advertisement you liked? When, when I, Norbert? Excuse me. Go, 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 Norbert. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, the ID, uh, dear, uh, dear Ego, uh, in a one gas station. ¿Cómo se dice? Había. There was. Oh, there was a promotion. Mm -hmm. uh, it's over. Overs, um, overs the car Formula 1. Yes. Okay. What was the promotion? Well, in yes, this case, it would be an offer, perhaps. What was the offer? Yes, it's, it's for, for, how do you say, compra? Buy. Uh -huh, for buying, for Buy. a payment, for payment. a purchase. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the gasoline. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the price? What did you get? ¿Qué le daban? What did you get? Uh, um, a Ferrari. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. Ferrari. Mm -hmm. de... Okay. Ah. To participate in what? In una rifa? In a raffle? No, eh, ahí raspaba y le salía el premio. Sí ganaba. Oh, ganaba. oh, ok, ok. Pero Ferrari. Yeah. <risa> pero, ¿En serio? A Ferrari. No es Ferrari. Ah, no molesta. <risa> <risa> I thought you meant the real Ferrari. <risa> ok, ok. But a long time ago, right? Not anymore. So, um, si fuera una rifa, that is called a raffle. Se los acabo de escribir en el chat para que les quede por ahí. Oh, okay. So, raffle. Raffle, that is una rifa, right? A raffle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then the next, the next one we have is environment. Very interesting word. Environment, guys. Puede ser ambiente laboral, like the working environment, all right? Or environment in general, como el, el ambiente, el medio ambiente. So that is environment too. Is your working environment okay? Is your working environment fine? Es ¿Les gusta su ambiente de trabajo? Do you like your working environment? Yes, I like. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You like it. Yeah. Okay, so that is environment, right? Mm -hmm. Normally in the cuando están buscando un empleo ofrecen ese tipo de ambiente, like um, excellent, excellent. Excellent working environment. Excellent environment. Ajá, okay. uh -huh. or qué más? Like, yeah, pretty much that would be it. Yeah. Uh, Yes. Sorry, but in my case, it is different. Why? For me, for, for me, our company to offer the work under under pressure. Oh, that's <laughs> under pressure. Okay. You know, yes. the, it's different it's to environment. Different. Uh -huh. No, but but I mean, at the beginning, me imagino que le preguntan. So, can you work under pressure? 
And we say yes. <laughs> okay. So normally well, we say yes. Uh huh. So it's, it's, it's different. The war and the pressure and environment. Cool. Yes. So, yeah, yes. because environment is the relation laboral, right? Yeah. Con los compañeros, si tienes sorry, compañeros sorry, with but, them. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry, but the half time El Salvador zero, USA zero. Zero. Thanks, uh, Ignacio. Okay. Ah, se refiere al score. <laughs> y yeah. me quedé yes. pensando, what? <laughs> oh, so hay un tie, están empate. Thing of, yeah. Okay, so in fact, when we are talking about soccer, yes. we call it tie. There is a tie. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is a tie. Hay un empate. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Cool. Hey, I like it. You're speaking a lot today. So, tenemos una nueva modalidad here. Olvide mencionarla. Eh, especially with COVID, that became very common, mm -hmm. que es trabajar en el sitio, trabajar en la empresa. Y trabajar también from home. Ahora las empresas ofrecen this type of modalidad. So, work WF. Um, so, WFH, um, right? So, that, <laughs> sí, se ve raro. I know. <laughs> Pero no es una mala palabra or anything. No, me imaginé no. que you thought about it. No es una mala palabra. It's not about word. No, no. So, this stands for work from home. All right. So, WFH. Uh, or WF, people call it sometimes. Um, pero, pero si es esto. So, si alguna vez ven esto, they are offering that one. Or ofrecen también um, insight, como en, el, en la empresa, right? Cuando tenemos que ir a la empresa. So, that is something they offer too. All right. Guys, uh, as I said, vamos a preparar. You are going to prepare like a little advertisement, como un un um, aviso, un, how do you say ad in Spanish? Un anuncio, right? Un anuncio publicitario. Um, I don't know if you have ever seen it, but let's try to do it in English. First, tenemos esta pequeña conversación. I need two volunteers. Aquí me he escuchado today. Give me one second. I got, I got. Hi, Mar Brian. ¿Qué más entro? Hi, Marvin. Hi, Eduardo. Hi, Nelson. Claudia, good evening. Uh, Mr. Lopez, Marvin, ayúdeme a leer, porfa. Are you around? Yo. Yo, teacher. Oh, ayúdeme, Alex. Help me, please. You're going to be Mr. Chan. Who is my? Uh, your Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan. Let me see okay. si su tocayo está por acá. Uh, Marvin, ¿está por ahí? Marvin. Marvin, ya lo han visto. <laughs> Hola. Teacher, eh, Dorian, Dorian en español. Um, Dori. <laughs> es que... Es que es como esta película del rostro de Dorian Gray, but Dorian. se llama Dorian. Hi, teacher. Dorian, no, no sé, no, no puedo pensar. Hola, hi, Marvin, thank you so much. My name so, is Marvin, eh, help me, please. Lo, lo voy a molestar un momento. Ayúdeme con la descripción de Dorian. So, Alex is going to help us reading Mr. Chan, and you help us reading Dorian, please. Okay. I can I can ready. I be start. Yes, of course. Okay. Excuse me. I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is recruiting recruit coordinator. Mm -hmm. I see. And could you tell me about their responsibility? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team on rec recruiters. Recruiters. Mm -hmm. Recruiters. You go, Alex. I, I understand. understand. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he, he do? 
Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is talent mainly again consultant. Me sorprende que lleve un minuto ya, 45 minutos en Salvador. Alex, you go. He returned at, at one. Wait, wait, you are Mr. Chan. <laughs> We're okay. Creo que se está quebrando a Liro. Let me read the last part. Wait, where can I reach him? He reached return at one o'clock. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Marvin. That was nice. Creo que se me le quebró por ahí, Alex, but no worries. I got you. So let's take a look at just some uh, vocabulary here. So please repeat with me. MS means miss. So, miss. yeah. Miss. Miss. Okay. Next one. Recruitment. 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 Very good. Next one. Basically. 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 Como basic. Uh -huh. Basically. Basic. Basically. All right. Basically. Yeah. Next one. Provide. 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 There we go. And the next one is management. 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 Y la última, management. reach. Reach. So what is the meaning of reach? Where can I reach him? So reach es como de alcanzar. ¿A dónde lo encuentro? ¿A dónde lo alcanzo? Uh, Por alcanzar una meta, right? Oh, como yes. cuando se dice, voy a alcanzar mis metas. I'm going to reach my goal. I'm going to reach my objective. Or, yeah. um, uy, este mes no pude llegar a la meta. So I couldn't reach my goal this month. So reach oh. es alcanzar algo, obtener algo. Okay. Now, they are talking about... Uh, well, first, I have a question for you. Mr. Chan. ¿Quién es Mr. Chan y qué anda haciendo? What is he doing? Uh, want the work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Recruitment. Does he work in the company? Mr. Chan es quien empieza preguntando. Do yes. you think he works in the company? ¿Ya trabaja para esta empresa? Uh, no. Why? ROC company? From ours? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Alex said no. So, trabaja for this company? What do you think? Yes. I I thinking about why no. Mm -hmm. que, que no. Yes. Él no trabaja en la empresa. Exactly. The person doesn't work in the company. Si vemos pregunta, excuse me, I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Where can you tell me who she is? Me puedes decir quién es? Yes. Y luego, then he is. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? So él no sabe nada de la empresa, right? He doesn't know about the company. Probably es un new hire, es un nuevo empleado. O anda buscando trabajo, right? Probably eh, le dijeron, hey, venga, entrevista, come to an interview. Or the police, the police uh -huh. and, and one to the Mr. Chavez for arrest. Oh, <laughs> well, no había pensado en eso. Maybe that's a detective. Yes, of course. That yes, can I happen. Am. Yeah, <laughs> demasiado CSI, criminal minds, <laughs> Dexter, okay. No, but yeah, you, you are totally right. This could be a detective, a police officer. Yeah, and especially porque al final pregunta, where can I reach him? ¿Dónde lo puedo encontrar, right? Okay, very cool. So vamos a hablar un poquito about this. Human resources, responsibilities, uh, staff organization, y sobre todo, uh, job advertisement. Okay. First, vamos a ver un poquito de some job advertisement we have here. Um, it says read the information on the HR personnel. Remember that HR significa human resources, nuestros recursos humanos, HR. Yes. And then answer the questions below. Ignacio, please, ayúdame con el primero, recruitment coordinator. ¿Cuáles son los requisitos? What are the requirements? Okay, um, bachelor degree, 
organizes scheduled house candidate interview, opens and posts requisitions. 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 Mm -hmm. Requisitions, sorry. <clears throat> Coordinate internal and internet job posting. Has a degree in management. Mm -hmm. Works with a support and recruiting team. Has five years of experience. Works on weekdays. And the last, the last one uh, works part time. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. So exactly, this recruit recruitment coordinator. Um, tiene todas estas características. Bachelor degree, no mencionen en qué área, probablemente business, engineering, we don't know. Solo que tengo un grado académico, right? Um, and then we have some of the obligations they must meet. The next one we have is a talent management consultant. So, da -da -da -da, let me see who can help me with this. Hi, Brian, está por ahí? Yes, no. Anita, ¿está por ahí, Anita? Yes, teacher. Great. Ayúdeme a leerlo. Please, Talent Management Consultant. Uh, teach Management Consultant. Be, 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 what do you say? La primera palabra, teacher. Bachelor. Bachelor's degree. Ah, ok. Thank you. Bachelor degree responsible for leadership, develop, development, development, career development, mm -hmm. um, ausences, performance, uh, keeping and development, work on Saturday, full term job, a mm -hmm. year of experience. All right, thank you very much. So that is with the talent management consultant. We have just two more. Um, so let me just see if I got somebody. Guadalupe, Lupita, please help me with benefit specialist. Okay, benefit specialist. A bachelor degree, the bono and maintains. Okay, continue, please. Okay, create cost effective benefit programs to provide motivator, incentive, and rewards. Rewards for yes. effective performance. Performance. Uh -huh. Words and on weekdays, part time yes. job. Three years of experience in the position. Okay, thank you very much. And the last one, Moses, are you around? Hello, teacher. Hi, Moses. Um, can you please help me with human resources generalist? So, Leila, just okay, read this okay. for us, please. Uh, bachelor's degree maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resource response to inquiries inquiries regarding police producers and programs works on saturday part-time jobs in five years of experience in similar position amazing thank you so much okay very good, guys. So let's take a look at some vocabulary here and the pronunciation as well. Very, very nice, everybody. So first, um, we got this word. We got this other. Um, I'll be able to make it. Okay, we got this one. Uh, we have this word. Wait, I'm going to select something else that covers everything. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah, it's management. Uh, this one, development. Performance. 
requirements. This word is a little hard. Uh, the rewards two. Then that would be all right. Okay, guys. Yes, Richard. Uh, the question is a palabra que está subrayada development. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Ahorita, ahorita vamos con la pronunciación. No se preocupe, no worries. Okay, guys. So, vamos a repetir. Let's go and repeat some of the words that we have here. Todas son palabras bien importantes, bien utilizadas, and uh, just to make sure that we get them correctly. La primera, organizar, se pronuncia organize. So, vamos a repetirla. Organize. La cerca, vibrémosla un poquito. Organize. 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 No, tercera persona, organizes. 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 Very nice. La next one, schedule. Schedule. Perfect. Next one, management. 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 Very good. Next one, development. 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 Develop. 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 Development. Ok, pensemos que, que es como subida y bajada. So, eso es como development. 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 Exactly. So, development. Development is desarrollo, right? Como desarrollar algo. Por ejemplo, here, development, career, development. So, desarrollo de, car de carrera here. Uh, next one, performance. 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 Exactly. So what is performance? What is the meaning of performance? Any idea? Have you seen the word performance before? Like a presentation? Presentation. Yes, yes. Pre participation, yes. presentation. In general, performance is su rendimiento. Okay? So performance... Puede ser, si estamos hablando de música o de actores, etc., es, es como su puesta en escena, all right? If you are talking about a musician, ellos tienen performances. So, tienen como concerts, por ejemplo, movies, that's performance. En nuestro caso, that we are working in a company, nuestra performance es su rendimiento. Si hacen lo que les piden, you know, si cumplen con metas, things like those. Esa es nuestra performance. Después. Nuestro rendimiento. Richard? Uh, sorry, sorry. Eh, hay un call center que aparece per mon, per, per mon, per mon, per Teleperformance? Teleperformance. Ajá. ¿eh? Uh -huh. well, ese es el nombre de ellos, right? Uh, pero, uh -huh. pero performance es eso, su rendimiento. Mm -hmm. That is the one. Uh, let's continue with the next one. We have reward. Reward. So reward son premios, ¿ok? Cuando usted hace algo bueno, por ejemplo, a veces recibe rewards. So le dan como premios, estímulos, that would be a reward. Then we have, the next one is requirement. 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 Exactly. Very good. And the, la última que es un poco más difícil de pronunciar, This is inquiry, 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 inquiry. Exactly, Norbert, can you say it? Inquiries. Yes, very good. That's it, Guadalupe. Inquiry. Very good. Inquiry, guys, no se preocupen por la palabra, se ve rara and everything, pero solo es una pregunta. Response to inquiries regarding policies. So, inquiries son preguntas, dudas, okay? So, inquiries, cualquier pregunta que se hace. Now, I have some questions for you. Revisamos las preguntas que tenemos acá. Number one, what does the recruitment coordinator do? ¿Qué hace el recruitment coordinator, guys? Mm. 
What is the meaning of recruit, recruitment? Hmm, this one, recruitment, el reclutador. Reclutador. Okay. What does the recruitment coordinator do? Leámoslo acá, read it here, revísenlo acá, acá lo tienen, guys. So what does the recruitment? Organize the schedules. Okay, so he organizes the schedules. Okay, yeah, definitely. What about, what does the recruitment coordinator do? Number one, what is the recruitment coordinator's experience? ¿Cuánto piden de experiencia? How much experience do they ask? Five years. Five years, exactly. When does the recruitment coordinator work? Como en qué horario? What is the schedule? Um, work, work part, work part. Well, part time. Part time, exactly. That is a part time. Now, my next question What job requires only one year of experience? Talent management. Exactly. Talent management consultant. Okay, very good. Uh, what job is full time? Also the talent management consultant. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Now my next question is what job works with for example, los viernes um si soy un top performer, a top performer, all right. Si tengo como muy buen rendimiento, they give me food or they give me um a diploma or something like that what is the department benefit specialist benefit specialist yes. exactly now um this job or the person um the person works for example with the new employees new supervisors <laughs> Uh, los mandan a trainings, they send these people to trainings, um, to workshops, and uh, so they can grow, they can get a promotion in the company. What is the job? What is the, the, the position? Uh, management? Uh, yes, that is talent management here. Yes. It says uh, responsible for leadership and assesses performance learning and development. So, se encargan del desarrollo de cada uno, right? Para que pueda yeah. ir ascendiendo. Exactly, that is the talent management consultant. Okay, guys, so here we have four different jobs, todos relacionados con human resources, but we know that in a company hay más que eso. We have definitely a lot more. ¿Qué vamos a hacer today? Vamos a inventarnos un anuncio um, ofreciendo un empleo. ¿Alguna vez han escuchado en la radio? Have you ever heard in the radio algún anuncio ofreciendo empleo? Yes. Yes. Como estamos buscando or something like that. ¿Lo han visto? ¿Lo han escuchado? Yes. Yes. Ok, yes. teleperformance. Ellos por lo general tienen en inglés. All right. Uh, and then el resto de empleos solo los publican uh, on the newspapers. Social media. Social media, exactly. Yeah. So, vemos algo así, right? They, they have something like this. Como que es lo que piden, el contact information, etc. Lo que vamos a hacer today es que vamos a crear o algo así. Vamos a crear una descripción cortita de qué le vamos a agregar. Los requirements, cuáles son los requisitos, right? Second, las obligaciones. ¿Qué es lo que tiene que hacer en ese empleo? The obligations. Then... ¿Qué días va a trabajar? All right. O usted le pone flexible oh, schedule. Yeah. Ok. O si lo quiere para el turno de la noche. Night shift. O, I mean, si hay algo específico. Right. Si es un part-time job, full-time job, o es un trabajo por hora. O it's a, a work per hour. All right. Then, ¿cuál es la experiencia? How many years do you need for that specific position? Y si le quieren agregar algo más como beneficios, what are the benefits to work in the company, sería perfecto. Ok, what are we going to do? Vamos a crear grupos y lo van a hacer como grupo. El grupo que gane, right, the group that wins, 
es el que los compañeros van a votar. Everybody will vote por uno de estos empleos a los que le gustaría aplicar, right? El, el que vean más bonito, cooler, um, I don't know, y que les llame la atención. Así que, you know, do your best para que su empleo sea súper, súper interesante. Um, I'm going to give you like five, ten minutes, kind of, para que podamos crear esto. Se los voy a dejar súper abiertos. Puede ser cualquier tipo de empleo, any type of job, as long as we include the main elements. So, ¿qué días tienen libres? ¿Qué tipo de empleo es? Experiencia, obligaciones y requisitos, right? Algunos empleos son un poco sexistas, por ejemplo, y piden solo mm, femenino, right? Masculino. So, puede ser como female or male. So, femenino, masculino, female, male. O alguien que vive en San Salvador, someone who works, who lives in San Salvador, in Apopa, in Soya. A I mí, mean, ustedes le pueden agregar más, of course. Eh, pueden googlear alguno, you can google any, you know, para tomarlo como referencia, right? No para copy-paste. <laughs> ok, luego lo presentamos. Then we are going to present it, and your classmates van a votar por ellos. They are going to vote. So, guys, I'm going to invite you to come and join the groups para que podamos unirnos eh, some minutes it's really really short and then we can we can present them give just a second hi Sarai hi teacher Hola, Miss, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? I'm very good. <laughs> okay, happy Thursday. Nice, nice to have you. Okay, give me one second. Okay, mm -hmm. ahí estamos, ahora sí. All right, guys, so los invito a que nos unamos. You can take a picture here, you can Google some others, y el empleo queda a su disposición y abierto a que ustedes decidan. So you can choose, and then we're going to present it. So, let's do it, guys. Let's go and join
Hi Nelson. Hi Eduardo. How are you guys? Hi Claudia. Eduardo, vi que me lo está sacando el Inter. Okay, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. Uh, so I guess most of you already uh, practiced, talked a little bit about this job uh, description. And of course, está listo para compartirnos, right? And so I know you're ready to tell us about this. 
Um, so first, let me listen to the jobs. Let me listen to cuáles son los empleos que escogieron. What did you select? What jobs do you have here, guys? Administrative manager. Oh, very good. Administrative manager. Okay. Alguien más? Anybody else? Region, regional management. Regional. Okay. Right. IT. So a yeah. regional IT management. Okay. Yes. Good. ¿Qué más? Fit, fit la recuerda que le dio... Fue pelota, Ignacio. <risa> Ay, qué dibujo exacto. Está mañando, está mañando, mañando anduviera. Ok. <risa> so, IT management, eh, administrative Pulse, work. Ignacio. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Me faltan tres grupos. I'm missing two groups. Eh, Norbert. So, Norbert, ¿tú sabes qué escogieron? What did you select? The number of the company. Uh, no, I mean, el empleo. What, what a uh, job. ¿Qué empleo uh, seleccionaron? Ah, excuse me. Uh, It's okay. Service claim. Okay. Hello, Richard. Como, como customer service, Richard. Customer, customer service. Executive the yes. sales. Yes. Executive sales. All right, all right. I think we're good. We are complete. Uh, yes. So, vamos, con, vamos a escuchar el primer grupo. We are going to listen to the first. So, eh, los que estaban en sala 1 are Delmi, Brian, Dennis, eh, Alex. Claribel en René. Guys, eh, tell us a little bit, yo creo que algunos por internet sí. issues or something no los pudieron acompañar, but whatever you have, lo que ustedes okay. tengan. Of course, of course, tell us about that. Mm -hmm. Convénzanos que es el empleo que necesitamos. <laughs> ok. Perfect. Uh, nice. I need to share my screen. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to stop presenting. Give me one second. Okay. Probemos si puede. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Sí, okay. Okay. Ooh, you made a presentation. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the company recruitment the regional IT management uh, engineer Guerrero attract your salary good work with good working environment five year of experience excellent programming and system I speak three language Three, yeah, three language. Oh my God. Uh, one, one bonus per year. Okay. Full time. Available to travel. Good. Responsible visa. So they need visa. Okay. Yeah. E growth opportunity. So growth, I like that. Growth yeah. opportunities so pueden crecer más. They can grow in the company. Yeah. Okay, yes. very good. Solamente una palabrita here that yeah. voy a, a cambiarle donde dice indispensable visa. Yeah. Eh, so, quitémosle la palabra indispensable uh -huh, y pongámosle visa is a must. Visa is a must. Must. M-U-S-T. Perfect. Thank you so much. Ok, Thank so you. visa is a must. Es como, es obligatorio. Ah, okay. Necesita. Mm, como indispensable. Oh, I like this. All right. So regional IT management. And the person okay. has to be an engineer with a degree. Yeah. Ok. Well, I am really surprised because you need 
a person to speak three languages. Yeah. Okay, right. that is a lot. Spanish, All right. Spanish, English, English. and language system. Ah, programming. Ah, yeah. programming. Yeah. I know. I mean, I thought no, uh, Russian, no Korean, uh -huh, Chinese or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Guys, ¿qué, ¿a quién le gustaría trabajar? Who would like to work in this guy's company? ¿O quién reúne los requisitos? Who meets the requirements? Ignacio. No, nobody. Nobody. La única que se me ocurre es Anita. Uh, ya Anita comes to my mind. Ah, yeah. So, guys, tenemos más. In tenemos engineers. Tenemos like IT engineers, no, right? No, only We don't have. Anita, reúne los requisitos. Do you meet the requirements? Anita se fue, creo. Eh. Ahí, está. Oh, ahí está. No, <laughs> ya le están mandando Anita a Anita. Ball, ball, ball. <laughs> Anita, do you meet the requirements? Reúne los requisitos. Yes. Eh. Oh. Eso que han escrito. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. You have, a visa, you have a visa, Anita. No. No. Ok. okay. No, she doesn't have a visa. Next. No, pero revisemos el resto. No, let's take a look at the rest. Sorry, Anita, you um, speak three languages. Vamos a llamar. Ah, vamos a llamar. Ah, sorry, no había leído. No había leído. Es que me, me levanté. Lo siento. Oh, no, no, no. It's ok. It's ok. So they are looking, these guys are looking for a regional IT management a person. So um, estos son los requisitos. But mm -hmm. requisito number one is que tenga visa. So mm -hmm. you don't have a visa, right? But five years of experience. Do you have five years of experience in IT? No, teacher. Um, I graduate um, the licenciature in system, but not work in this area. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, really? Not not experience. That's so, that's so bad. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Well, yes. we will call you. Thank you so much for applying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's bad. Le faltan los cinco años de experiencia. She's missing yes. the five years of experience in that area and the visa, right? All right. So Anita was the only one I thought could apply. Okay, uh, King Mas, who else? Uh, thank you guys, thank you so much. That was really interesting. And the, the presentation was really, you know, good. Who apply or who is playing? Uh, I mean, quien aplica a ese empleo, right? So who would apply ah. for that job? Uh -huh. oh. No, 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 that no. would be a, uh -huh, apply. <laughs> Nobody, okay. Guys, vamos con la number, number two. Brenda, Carlos, eh, Eduardo, Jackie, Norberto, and Ricardo. Guys, eh, ¿lo escribier ¿escribieron los requisitos? Did you write the requirements? Yes. O, o do you have, ¿los tienen en la computer? ¿O nos, nos van solo a contar? Are you going to just tell us? And the question. Tell yes. Us. Okay, cuéntenos. Tell us. What okay. is the job uh, and what are the requirements? Uh, eh, no so, bueno, no sé si está bien así como lo entendimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Pero. Dígalo, no hay eh, Es así. Eh, uh, we, need, we need customer service staff. Uh -huh. um, our company will offer you uh -huh. uh, good working every month. Environment. Environment, perdón. Uh -huh. uh, no worries. As, access uh, to edu ed education uh, implements, okay. uh, base salary, uh, uh, basic uh, basket. Eh, quizás ahí con basket pongámosle groceries, like free groceries. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. free groceries. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, ok. Uh, liars. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, my compa, uh, Norbert, uh, next. 
-huh. Ok, este, de eh, base salary a uh, uh, 600, 100, eh, más, eh, plus, plus, eh, comi commission for goals. Ok, cool. Uh, solvency of, of the PNC. Oh, pero eso ya sería como el momento de que le digan que sí, ¿verdad? Que lo vaya a sacar. Ajá. Ok. Yes. Like the criminal record. Ok, criminal yeah. record. Ok. Ok. And, and full time. Only This is a full time job. Ok. okay. Um, uh, do you need experience? Uh, one. One year of uh, experience. One year of experience. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Customer service. You offer 600. No, wait. Customer service, you said. Yes. Or executive sales. Uh, Customer service stuff. Customer service. You offer 600. You offer $600 yes. plus commissions. Yes, yes, yes. Company yes, the annual holiday. Okay, you offer the holidays. Hey, Norbert, this is a company? Eh, exclusive. I mean, yeah, $600 plus commission for customer service. That's overrated. <laughs> no, está super bien. Cool. Ya suena. You know, solo le falta, falta que sea semanal <laughs> para que se, suene como una empresa americana. <laughs> okay, but, but that's okay, I think. That's really good. No piden más idiomas. Nice. Thank you, boys. Thank you so much. Let's go with group number three, guys. We have Guadalupe, Ignacio, Marvin, eh, Nelson, and Pedrina. What do you have? In, what is your job first? And Karina means. Oh, Karina as well. Okay. Um, no la veo ahora sí, either. Okay. Se actualizó, creo. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Okay, okay. Tell me. So, ¿cuál es empleo? What is the job first? Karina has the presentation. Oh, okay. Pero creo que Karina... Tuvo problemas con el Inter y salió. <laughs> I think she left us. Ok. Y ya no la veo. I don't see her. Ok. I think Karina is gone. But it's ok. You know, it's totally fine. Um, guys, let's do the following. Me faltan... Eh, well, I'm missing this group. Que sería el último que tenemos. This is the last. So, it's ok. Si ya tenemos la presentación, hopefully Karina la haya guardado. Probablemente es algún problema con el internet Because la he visto conectada la, la, Las sesiones completas you know, En las clases anteriores yeah. So hopefully you know, eh, la, Le haya quedado guardadita por ahí <ríe> Y la presentamos mañana So we present it tomorrow, no problem All okay. right guys, listen up Tenemos pendiente una presentación De un minuto y medio Right eh, quienes no pudieron pasar el día de ayer no, es que se me haya olvidado <risa> definitely not all right, pero lo estoy guardando para el día de mañana normally okay. nuestros viernes son como de más speaking eh, so group work, speaking group work, speaking so les pido que lo preparen los que me hacen falta para tomorrow yeah. and of course si es posible, dos minutos guys do it <risa> ok, les va a servir Muy mucho bien. les va a servir más, mucho más de práctica antes de irnos, solo eh, confirmo asistencia. Si me pueden ayudar con su camarita, eh, some seconds. Just to make, eh, para que nos quede, you know. En la grabación, constancia, that, that it was your voice, that it was you. And, uh, da -da. And guys, solo agradecerles por la plataforma. I checked today, super, super bien. Todos me la terminaron. Um, So, Alex, solamente creo que tengo algo pendiente con usted. I'm not quite sure. And, uh, y algunos ya terminaron todo, you know, todo el, el, el espacio. So, guys, thanks a lot for that. Si pueden avanzar, 
avancen, please, completen toda y ya se quedan como más tranquilos as well. So, regalé mi confirmación, por favor, los que me hacían falta. Eh, Brian. Ya uno de Bob Es un Brian, pero creo que está por ahí. ahí está eh, ahí, si me regala confirmación, please. Yo, pero... Mejor que la convocatoria que hice la vez que lo metieron seis. Eh, Jocelyn, do you see Jocelyn by any chance? No, no veo a Jocelyn. I don't see her. Recuerdo haberla visto. No sé si es que estoy haciendo mal memoria. Eh, Marvin López, ¿me regala confirmación? Marvin, por favor. Present teacher. Gracias. Nelson. Gracias Nelson, thank you so much. Eh, Claudia, vi a Claudia por ahí. Present teacher. There you go, thank you so much, Miss. Thanks a lot. And uh, Eduardo. All right. All right, everybody. Now listen up. Uh, oh, give me one second. Oh, thank you. Like the bun. <laughs> All right. Okay, everybody. So um, thanks, everybody, for joining. Gracias por la asistencia. Super, super nice, you know, these days. Gracias por ayudarme con la plataforma, too. Um, estamos avanzando bastante. So I hear most of you perdiendo miedo, intentando decirlo. So very good improvement. Hemos mejorado bastante. Guys, no perdamos ese impulso que llevan ahorita. So try every single day to participate more. Um, que nos me hacían falta, please get ready tomorrow con el 1 minuto 30. Y si quieren hacerlo por dos minutos, solo me dicen, right? Y así lo eh, vamos a darle la oportunidad de escuchar a todos. And everybody can, can practice. Um, pretty much that, that's it for today. So, gracias a todos que descansen, vean el partido, guys, o vayan a descansar. So, have a good night. En Norbert, solo me regalé unos minutos, porfa. Yes, no se me ha olvidado. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye Alex. Bye. See you. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Ok, deme un segundito solamente. Deme un second. Solo hago acá un movimiento super quick. And, uh, uy, ¿qué pasó? Vale, hoy sí. Hoy sí. There we are. Uy, qué lo hice. Gracias, Norbert, por su tiempo. Le voy a robar unos minutitos acá para que podamos practicar, right? O si tiene preguntas, pues las aprovechamos también por preguntas. Norbert, eh, antes de, de escucharlo, solamente le quiero dar un poquito de feedback, right? Eh, aprovechando que estamos acá en el one-on-one, -on -one, eh, pues nada, Norbert, siento que todos los días me participa más, así que súper, súper bien. Eh, siento que me está, per que está perdiendo el miedo, right? A participar. Eh, está agarrando más vocabulario. Um, no sé qué está haciendo, pero síganlo haciendo, <risa> uh, porque sí está funcionando. Uh, It's working. Uh, that sure. Es poco tiempo lo que practico o, o leo en inglés. Creo que eso me está afectando un poco, pero este, hemos tenido bastantes actividades en el trabajo y, y sí, solamente ya de las seis en adelante, tal vez una hora, ¿verdad? No, pero súper bien, you know, porque si hacemos la, yo siempre eh, considero que es sano compararse uno mismo y el avance que uno tiene a través del tiempo. Si comparamos, por ejemplo, módulo 1, módulo 2, que eh, traíamos como conocimiento, pero se nos había quedado por ahí olvidado, no lo practicábamos. Y ahora compar comparamos con la forma como se está expresando, como da las ideas, se nota el avance. So, ha sido muy, muy bueno, muy positivo. Eh, keep it up. You know, siga trabajando lo de way. Estamos súper bien. Siempre la, la recomendación, ¿verdad? Que trabajemos con vocabulario, intente cinco palabritas diarias, dos palabras que usted se memorice todos los días 
hacen la diferencia a través del tiempo. Y pues sigamos haciendo esto, siempre practiquenme. Eh, creo que esta semana, más que todo, eh, sí vi como un cambio, you know, completamente. Like, you participate more, ya no se me queda calladito. Súper bien, cool, cool, cool. De eso se Ajá. trata. ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel so far? Uh -huh. Llevamos seis módulos, seis meses, let's say. ¿Ha sentido eh, la mejora? La verdad, sí, sí, pero ni, aún siento que me falta aún más, ¿verdad? Necesito of poner course. un poquito más parte. Sí, no, para... I mean, of course, es un proceso, but, pero, pero sí siente eso, siente el progreso, siente que va avanzando, o ¿Sí? siente que ya se estancó. No, la verdad, siento que voy progresando, aunque sea un poco, ¿verdad? Pero sí, claro, sí sentido... pasitos. Uh -huh. sí, ya siento que puedo hablar un poquito más, lo, tal vez lo, lo básico, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero más fluido. ¿verdad? Nice. Este, solo eso, quizás eh, necesito un poco más de práctica. Yes, of course, of course, but, but whenever eh, vamos a los grupos, sí lo veo como bien activo también, practicing, listening, um, and remember, esto es un proceso, this is a process, es bastante, um, digamos, no realista, eh, si decimos, voy a aprender inglés en cuatro meses, ya full English, no, verdad, no, it's not a, a reality, pero sí podemos lograr en seis meses hablar hasta un nivel básico, y qué es lo que ustedes ya están haciendo, right? So, si le hago preguntas, usted ya me las responde súper bien, eh, vamos a trabajar en la parte de, eh, por ejemplo, la tarea que tienen, que es de un empleo, y vamos a trabajar en la parte también de contar historias, storytelling, para que vayamos desarrollando vocabulario. Eh, cuénteme un poquito del, del trabajo que escogió. Tell me about the job. ¿Usted participó ayer o estábamos pendientes? No recuerdo, es que no remember. Eh, participé. Ah, vale. Pero, sí, pero, ok. Sí, okay, es. No es, problem, then. I, I didn't remember, no me recordaba. <risa> Porque si lo estaba escuchando, pues no recordaba si estábamos pendientes. Ok, cool. Y el último. Eh, ah, ok, va ese libro. <risa> so tell me, va, va, practicamos un poquito, then. Tenemos cinco minutos. So, cinco minutos perfectos para escucharlo, you know, just to listen to your uh, performance. So, Norbert, tell me. Um, Let me ask you just some questions para que podamos practicar un poquito. Okay. Um, so tell me, Norbert, when you are at home, what do you normally do at home? What are the activities that you do in your house? In my house. Mm -hmm. um, las actividades que hago. Yes. Um, ¿En español o en inglés? No, en inglés. <risa> ok, esa... Se siente español, no Spanish. <risa> yeah, it's a... Uh, my activity is a, a cleaner the house. Um, uh, help me... Uh, no, help... Um, um, Am I married? Am I married? I am. I am. I am married. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, do a pry, pry, print, no, pry and printer. Pry and printer is a, a store, a mini store. Oh. Mm -hmm. Store. Yes, so it is a mini store. Yeah. I am play I am play in video game PC PC PC3. Uh, what is your uh -huh. what is your favorite game? Uh, it's a um, San, ¿cómo se dice? San, San Andrew, San Andrew. San Andrew? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if that's the name. Okay, okay. 
Sulit Saint Andrew. Eva Carl Martin Auction the cars the what is the idea of the game because i know that it's like a card test but uh, describe the game for me please uh, excuse me teacher yes D describe the game describe me ese juego describe the game for me uh, uh, for me it's a uh is uh, interesting uh, how a uh, auction the cars a uh, mm -hmm. auction the um, the uh, avion como se dice avion airplane airplanes the um, how the auction in the beach the beach um how much how much option not remember so you can you can change like the place in the i mean in the game when you are playing you can change the location or no Mm, so yes. you mentioned in the beach, in the airplane, so you can change it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, Norbert. I mean, I think you're doing like a cool, cool job. Norbert, hagamos lo siguiente. Let's do the following para ayudarle a que vayamos avanzando también un poquito más rápido. Eh, ¿Cuánto tiempo libre tiene que podríamos dedicar como todos los días for English? Uh, only in the night, um, the one hours. One hour. Okay. Le voy a pedir menos okay. de eso. I'm going to ask you less than that. Um, le, voy a, le voy a pedir 10 minutos. I'm going to ask you 10 minutes, pero como super bien invertidos. <laughs> Vamos a hacer okay. lo siguiente. We'll do the following. Vamos a trabajar con audios. Ya, yeah? every day, todos los días, every day, me va a mandar un audio. Un minuto audio de un minuto en los 10 minutos que le, le pido es para lo siguiente eh, me va a ir contando como qué es lo que hace todos los días right? eh, okay. le voy le voy a mandar como um, déjame ver yeah, I'm gonna, le, no vamos a hacer una cosa para el día de mañana por ejemplo envíeme como qué es lo que hizo durante todo el día Utilizando secuencia, utilizando later, next, finally, etc. Lo más rápido que pueda, por supuesto, the fastest you can, pero siempre y cuando se, usted escúchese y pregúntese, ¿me entendí? <ríe> ok, si usted se comprendió, estamos súper bien. Me lo okay. envía, yo lo reviso y si hay algo que cambiarlo, le voy a decir, mire, vuélvalo a grabar, solo le cambia esta y esta pronunciación y le voy a dar el siguiente tema para que vayamos avanzando tú. Because en esa forma nos ayuda mucho más con la parte de, de speaking, de vocabulario y de listening, porque necesito que ustedes escuchen también. Estamos avanzando súper bien, eh, solo que para dar como ese pasito que usted me dice y para agarrar un poco más de fluidez, vamos a practicar un poquito más. Eh, solo le pido 10 minutos, pero todos los días, right? Como una okay. súper disciplina y me mande el audio de un minuto todos los días, every day. Sería uh -huh. en the chat group no envíemelo a mí send it to my to, to my personal eh, number uh -huh. okay. porque en, en, en el grupo you know, no sé si usted se va a sentir cómodo por mí no hay ningún problema <laughs> pero okay. por si acaso uh -huh, send it to me that's okay all right okay. all right Norbert no le quito más tiempo ya lo dejo ir a descansar thank you so much and nos vemos mañana I'll be seeing you tomorrow okay thank you teacher see you you're tomorrow. welcome see you tomorrow good night